On today's video, we're going to talk about fishing with scented plastics. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, today I was kind of going through my plastics a little bit and uh, you know, I thought maybe I'd talk to you guys a little bit about like the scent uh, aspect of fishing with plastics. If you guys uh, happen to catch my ice fishing dead bait video, uh, you know that I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer that uh, at certain times scent can, can really help us catch fish, you know. And, and judging by these plastics, you know, I think other fishermen and, you know, manufacturers certainly believe that too. Because uh, so many of these plastics are uh, impregnated with scent or they have some kind of scent incorporated into them. And, uh, you know, but, but some of these scents, uh, you know, can be a little confusing to me. I don't know. Um, for instance, we got this, uh, this Strike King product. I mean, hey, Kevin Van Dam. Kevin Van Dam's right on the package, right? This Kevin Van Dam series. Uh, we all know... He has forgotten more about fishing than me or you will ever know, right? I mean, we know that. But these, these are like little drop shot minnows. And uh, I, I just thought it was kind of interesting to me that they actually have coffee scent and salt. You know, coffee scent. I, I guess I didn't really know that bass liked coffee, you know. And, and, and if they do, you know, if bass do like coffee... You know, I, I probably wouldn't put it like coffee scent and salt, right? I'd probably put like coffee scent and creamer scent or coffee scent and sugar scent. You know, I mean, that's, that's probably how I'd do it, you know, if, if they do like coffee. So I just thought that was a little odd. But then, you know, then I did, I did have this other package. It's Strike King also. These are kind of some crawfish imitators. And these, uh, these ones are actually made with an exclusive coffee scent you know not not just this normal run-of-the-mill coffee scent this is these ones are made with exclusive coffee scent and, and I don't I don't really know what that's about you know it, I don't know if it's like some kind of super special frappe mocha scent you know uh, something maybe you can only get in Seattle I, I don't know you know another common scent uh, that you find in plastics a lot is garlic um, you know, here's some lizards, uh, they, they actually have salt and garlic added, you know, and then here's some, uh, some frog lures, this Ribbit brand, kind of clever, right, Ribbit, frog, anyways, yeah, they, they have garlic, uh, scent added too, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know, D do fish like garlic? I, I don't know, you know, maybe salt and garlic, maybe that sounds good to me and you, um, but, uh, I don't know, maybe not so much to the fish, who knows, right? I mean, some humans don't even like garlic, right? And, you know, you're, you're not going to catch any vampires with this stuff, that's for sure. But yeah, but I mean, you know, maybe the fish are like that. Maybe some of the fish like garlic, but maybe some of them are repulsed by it, you know, just, just like some humans are repulsed by garlic. And, you know, again, I, I kind of got my own ideas on that. If, if fish do indeed like garlic, you know, I'd probably go with, you know, like, like garlic and salt. That's probably not too bad. But, uh, you know, I'd maybe take it up a notch and I'd go with, like, garlic and butter scent. Or, or, or just, you know, just straight up uh, garlic bread scent. You know, I think, I think that would be a good one, you know. I think that would catch a lot of fish if fish actually like garlic. It's kind of the same deal with the anise scent, right? That black licorice scent. Um, you'll find a lot of plastics, uh, they have the anise scent added to them. And, you know, do all fish like black licorice? I, I know not all humans like black licorice. I, I know I don't really care for it myself. So, you know, that, that's kind of another odd one to me. But I'll tell you, um, here's a scent that's heading in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. Got these, this is an Uncle Josh kind of a variety pack. And soft, salty made with pork now that's heading in the right direction right um you know that the only you know the only thing i could say to maybe take it to the next level with this is uh i just go straight to 
bacon scent, right? Uh, soft, salty, made with bacon. That would be fantastic. You know, that would really, uh, that would really take it to the next level, right? Bacon, meat candy, right? You, you can't go wrong adding bacon to anything that uh, humans eat. I know that. And so I, I think even adding it to fishing lures is probably be a pretty good idea too. And then you've also got like the the more natural scents, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about the coffee, the pork, the garlic. You know, the more natural scents that that smell probably more like something a fish would naturally eat in the water. You know, and you know we got this Yum brand. You know, here's some uh, crayfish imitators, and this Yum brand. It kind of talks about how. It's a blend of enzymes and natural attractants. And, and then it goes on to say that this Yum brand is 30% more effective than the leading brand, right? So, so that's pretty cool, right? This Yum brand is 30% more effective than the leading brand. So that's good. And then, you know, I've also got this, this Impulse. You know, this Northland Tackle puts out this Impulse uh, soft plastics. And, you know, these are actually made with baked in microplankton you know so, so that's kind of a more natural type thing too and then you know then it goes this one goes on to say how this impulse brand is a hundred and forty three percent more effective than other leading brands it says it on the back and it says it right up here too so you know just off the top of your head right you'd say like who this impulse is a hundred and forty three percent you know, better or more effective than the leading brand. And this Yum, this is only 30% better than the leading brand. So you'd think this Impulse would be better, right? But, you know, think about it like this. What if this Yum brand that, that boasts that it's 30% better than the leading brand, what if this Yum brand considers Impulse to be the leading brand? So this is saying it's actually 30% better than the Impulse, right? I mean, you, you don't know, because it really doesn't say. It just says the leading brand. So you don't know if Yum thinks this Impulse is the leading brand. Or, you know, what if it's vice versa? You know, what if the Impulse that is boasts that it's 143% better than the leading brand considers Yum to be the leading brand, you know? I wouldn't even know how to do the math about, you know, how much better it really would be. Um, you know, it, one of these is like way better than the other, and I can't even tell you which one it is. And that brings us to this Berkeley Power Bait. Right? This is good stuff. Uh, and you know it's good stuff. You look down here in the corner, and they got like laboratory equipment, like a picture of laboratory equipment. So you know like all kinds of like scientists and smart people have been working on this stuff, formulating stuff to make it work real good. And the thing that this power bait brags about, it's kind of all on the back here, you know, more lab equipment first of all. But the power bait brags about fish hold on to this 18 times longer. You know, and, and then you might say like 18 times longer than what? Well, it's got this little graph back here. And it shows fish hold on to unscented plastics for about one second and then fish hold on to regular scented plastics for about three seconds but then you come to the power bait and fish hold on to power bait for 18 seconds so that's 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 a pretty good long time to set the hook 18 seconds you know even even the slowest of hook setters can prob probably uh, get the, the hooks into that one right but uh, anyways, so, but I don't know, like, like fish, you know, only hold on to the regular scented plastics for three seconds. I, I don't know what they even mean by regular scented. You know, is that like the, the garlic or the pork or the coffee or whatever? I, you know, I'm not sure. Anyways, and then, you know, Berkeley also makes this gulp, you know, this gulp product. And the gulp product brags how it has 400 times more scent dispersion. And you know, that's a lot, 400 times more. Uh, I, I don't really know exactly, you know, more than what, you know, does, is, does it have 400 times more scent dispersion 
than something that has like hardly any scent, you know, 400 times more scent dispersion than something that's unscented? I, I don't know. And then the question is, which is better? 400 times more scent dispersion or holding on to the bait 18 times longer? You know, I don't know which, which is better. I don't know. You know, another interesting thing I came across uh, when I was checking out some of these soft plastics, um, I was looking at this Walleye Assassin brand. Got some minnow imitators here. And I was looking to see if there was any kind of a uh, scent, you know, involved with these, which there isn't. But, uh, you know, as I was looking around the packaging, I got to looking at the back. And it, the only thing on the back is this warning. And, and I'll read it to you. It says, warning, this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, and other reproductive harm. You know, uh, these chemicals are, they're, they're like only known to the state of California to cause all that stuff. Right, I thought that was really weird. Um, so, like, you know, if you're uh, if you're in the state of California and you're using some of these walleye assassin products, don't be pregnant, right? Because it causes all this uh, all these problems, you know. But if you're in another state, you're fine. Go ahead and use these. You can be with child, no problem, right? And you know, it, and another thing to consider if you're going to use uh, this particular walleye assassin product is if you are in the state of California, uh, I would highly recommend that you don't use these for spawning bass, right? Because, uh, you know, you don't want to cause, like, birth defects in, like, the baby bass, right? But if you're in another state, you know, if you're, if you're outside of California, go ahead, use these for spawning bass, no problem. Heck, if you're in another state, you can probably eat these, no problem, right? And then, uh, you know, there's a whole other category of, of scent, you know, is this, uh, these liquid scents that you can add to your soft plastics or you can add to lures. Uh, heck, they even say you can put it on live bait, right? It's, it's like a liquid, you pop open the top, you kind of squirt it on your bait or your lure or whatever and it adds scent to it. Uh, this one's a Berkeley Power Bait brand. And one thing that's kind of interesting about this one is this is a crappie attractant, you know? That's, that's how specific things are, I guess, right? You know, this is for crappies. If you're going to fish for bluegills, don't use this, right? Because you won't catch anything because it's for crappies, right? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's, it's like that strict or whatever because it seems like, you know, bluegills, perch, bass, you know, they eat a lot of the same stuff that crappies do, right? But, you know, if you do go out and get some of this stuff, I guess try to make sure you get the, the right species of fish attractant that you're going to be fishing for because I guess they're pretty specific right and then there's this uh, this spray on bottle one right you just kind of take your your soft plastic or your lure or whatever and kind of spray this stuff on it and and this one makes a little bit more sense to me this one isn't species specific this one is just called night crawler right and you know I think a lot of fish do like night crawlers so, you know, this is probably a good one to go with, you know, because you can catch multiple species with this, you know, I, I would believe, as opposed to these ones where, hey, you better pick the right scent for the right fish or you, or you might not catch anything, right? I don't know. Well, there you have it, outdoor YouTubers. There's some real good solid tips, you know, that you can use when you're out fishing with your soft plastics. You know, you just, just keep these things in mind and I know you're going to catch more fish because of it. And uh, also, hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.